Hey guys, I hope you're good. I've been in Edinburgh for a conference and I couldn't miss the opportunity to explore its canal. Edinburgh city centre is a thriving tourist hotspot which plays heavily on Scotland's long history. Less than a mile away from the pipers and the castle, the city takes on a very different feel. More down to earth, less choreographed, dare I say more like Glasgow, and believe me when I say that I mean that as a compliment. You're then met with a burst of redevelopment, new flats and restaurants. This is Lochran Basin at the end of the Union Canal. There are residential moorings in the basin, but the first thing that strikes me is the number of hire boats. I hope that I'll see more privately owned boats further along the canal. The Union Canal opened in 1822 to connect Edinburgh and Glasgow. The canal was mainly used to transport coal and other minerals. However, the opening of the Glasgow and Edinburgh Railway 20 years later meant the canal would become less and less popular. It closed to commercial traffic in 1933 and was shut altogether in 1965. There was a set of staircase locks connecting the Union Canal with the Forth and Clyde Canal at Falkirk. They were filled in and built over, as was the final mile of the Union Canal at the Edinburgh end. In 2002, the two canals were joined again by the opening of the Falkirk Wheel. Be sure to check out my video from when I visited. Edinburgh is an odd city in that it isn't built around a river, so I was curious about how the canal used to work. The canal is stunningly beautiful, but something about it feels a bit off. There are lots of mooring rings, but many of the banks and ledges would be impossible to moor on. There are a good number of pontoon moorings though, like this one at a church. It's obvious that Scottish Canals, the organisation who manage the waterways, want to encourage people to use the canals, but I wonder if that includes boaters. I've spoken to Scottish boaters before and they give me the impression that they don't feel very welcome on the canal. It was a baking hot day and lots of people were out walking their dogs and their children. There were a lot of cyclists who were very polite on the most part and many of those people lucky enough to live in these canal side homes were enjoying the sunshine in their gardens. But this was the only boat I saw moving on my visit, which was a bit sad, but I suppose not uncommon for a weekday. And of course, we were visiting during the summer week. The normal Scottish climate isn't the most compatible with boat life.
The Union Canal is very interesting because it's a contour canal, which means it follows the natural shape of the landscape and stays at the same height, 240 foot above sea level, for almost its entire length. Because the canal is the same height for most of its 31 miles, rather than locks, there are a number of aqueducts to carry it over the rivers below. This is Slateford Aqueduct that crosses the water of Leith. The aqueduct is 75 foot high and the views from the top are spectacular. But the towpath is extremely narrow and I was getting a serious case of vertigo on my way back. It was busy with cyclists and other pedestrians and was just a bit too much for me. I was very glad to get to the other side and back onto solid ground. I had a really lovely time walking along the Union Canal and tried very hard to relax. I'm not sure if it was the heat or my anxiety, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was a bit bored, and that's not the right word, but that I wasn't quite fully invested. It was a very pretty walk with very pretty scenery in a very pretty part of the city but what was its purpose? There didn't seem to be any links to the canal's industrial past. Am I making sense or am I just being too critical? I asked all of these questions to this lovely cat who said it didn't matter and just enjoy the moment. So that's what I did. If you're ever in Edinburgh, pop down to the canal, you can meet the Cat of Wisdom, and how often do you see seagulls by the canal? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!